And just ahead, could school walls be bad for young kids? We drop in on the all outdoors kindergarten where Mother Nature sets the curriculum. ABC News Nightline. Nightline continues from New York City with Bill Weir. All right, fellow parents, what is more important for a five-year-old to learn, the ABCs or the sound of a magpie? Tonight, we visit a kindergarten in Washington State where every day is a field trip. Here's Sharon Alfonsi out in the trees. Deep inside a five-acre forest. Down below where the worms move slow. This is where the wild things are. They snack on leaves. That would be okay to eat? Yeah, it tastes pretty good. Very good. And berries. Tea. What do you call candy. this? Forest candy. Forest candy. Okay. All right. The kids know 21 different words for mud. There's silky mud and what other kind of mud? Spotty. Spotty mud? I saw this glowing eyes. <gasps> So they can also recognize the calls of dozens of birds. We know raven. What does the raven sound like? <laughs> They're unusually well versed in the world of decomposition, metamorphosis, and insects, and enjoying edible hand warmers. Because because um they're warm and and you can eat them. They're actually potatoes. Getting dirty here is celebrated. So there is always a puddle to splash in. Gooey, gooey mud, gooey, gooey mud. I like to stomp in the gooey, gooey mud. <laughs> or a mud pie to make. Is it delicious? Yes. Welcome to Cedar Song Nature Forest Kindergarten on Washington's Vashon Island. We're not in Southern California. No, it rains here about nine months out of the year. <laughs> I strongly believe that children cannot bounce off the walls if we take away the walls. So that's what Erin Kenny, who's been teaching preschool for years, did. She created a kindergarten that meets outside every day, no matter the weather. It's sort of counterintuitive in our culture. However, it's been shown that recess actually helps kids perform better academically. What if the giant smashed the... Kenny, a former lawyer, was inspired to start the school after reading Richard Louv's Last Child in the Woods. In the book, he coins the phrase nature deficit disorder to explain the lack of connection between children and nature, arguing that deficit is responsible for the rise in childhood obesity, attention disorders, and depression. Where are the books? In America, we believe that preschoolers need to learn letters and numbers to get a jump start. Kenny does not prepare lesson plans ever. Our philosophy is what's called interest-led. What does that mean, interest-led? Interest-led means that the children are the ones directing the day. We don't come that to the school. That sounds like a recipe for disaster. <laughs> and actually, it's not, because um, if children are allowed to sort of move at their own pace, and they are the ones that are spotting things that pique their curiosity and allowed to explore them in a hands-on way, they can become very focused. We saw that. The children spent the entire day outside without a single complaint. What do you do in the forest all day? I, we climb. Play. You climb? We play. You play? You're not going inside for nope. lunch. They're not going inside to nope. use the bathroom. Nope. They're outside all day long, That's right. no matter what. A lot of the kids actually choose to go to the bathroom outdoors. And I'm talking about peeing. Yeah. We do also have a composting toilet that the kids can use if they want to. I can hear teachers everywhere rolling their eyes going, this sounds bananas, this sounds like hippie craziness. <laughs> and my belief is the reason we don't have it in this country is we are very much an indoor culture here in America. Often it looks like a commercial for a laundry detergent. How muddy is she when she comes home? It depends on the day. It could be, you know, if there's a giant mud puddle, she's covered in mud. Um, yesterday she got a mud shampoo from another kid. <laughs> a mud shampoo? <laughs> With her permission. You know, when it's this cold and this rainy out, do the kids get sick? The children at our outdoor preschool are healthier than children in an indoor preschool. Colds and flus are caused by germs, not by being outdoors in the cold and wet. And at the end of the day, parents call their children to the forest's edge in a unique way. With that, the wild things head home. 
But domesticating them? Well, it's no easy task. For Nightline, I'm Sharon Alfonsi on Vashon Island, Washington. What's the age limit? Because we all want to enroll there. Thanks to Sharon Alfonsi for that. And coming up next...